Hello, my name is Dr. Adams and I'm a dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist in Burtonsville, Maryland. And there has been a documentary that has recently come out that has caused a lot of people to call and visit my office. And that documentary movie is called Root Cause. And I just wanted to talk a little bit more about root canals. That's really the subject of the root cause movie and I'm developing a few different videos and the first one, you know, you can go back and look through my YouTube channel. The first video was about how to properly remove root canal teeth. A lot of people come in, they just want to have the root canals out. And the second video is about what the concerns about root canals really are. That'll just go over like the different issues that some dentists and physicians feel are a problem with root canal teeth. But this particular video is about probably one of the biggest things people get worried about. And they'll come in and they'll say, Dr. Adams, I saw that movie Root Cause, or they've been really coming in for years. And they'll say, I read online, I heard from Dr. Merkula that root canal teeth can make me sick. Is that true? And sometimes these people can have 10 root canals in their mouth and they'll be scared to death and they'll be like, should I get these teeth out? And they'll be like, they'll expect me to be the expert and tell them whether they should or should not have their root canal teeth taken out. So, uh, and they want to know if, you know, they're making them sick. Um, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is I can't prove or disprove that a root canal or multiple root canal teeth has made somebody sick. Um, I think there's, plenty of different risk factors that can make people sick from different things. People live in a certain way, they have genetics, they have uh, certain ways they live their lives. Some people eat healthy foods, some people eat unhealthy foods. Some people smoke cigarettes, some people do drugs, some people drink alcohol. Um, some people have Irish backgrounds and they can drink like fish and they can smoke like chimneys and they'll never really get sick. Um, we're here to talk about root canal teeth and whether or not they make you sick. So the bottom line is, uh, if you watch my other videos, you'll know that the one thing about root canals is they are teeth, they're dead teeth, they're full of bacteria, sometimes fungus, and it leaves a place in your body where these organisms can live and your immune system, your blood cells cannot get at them because there's no blood supply that gets into these teeth and it creates a reservoir where bacteria can grow and proliferate and they will dump their toxins and they themselves will leak out of your teeth and your body will pretty much have to deal with it. Um, so the question becomes, can, can that make you sick? Uh, there's also a certain material in the root canal. It's a foreign material. Little particles can leak out. You know, that can cause an inflammatory response for some people. They can quite literally, literally be allergic to that. You know, can these things make you sick? And, uh, well, if you're allergic to something and you keep eating food that you're allergic to, or you have something that's in your body that you're allergic to, and it stays in your body for a long period of time, there's no question that that can make you sick. I don't have to tell you that. Well, what if you're, what if, what if you're, what if you're gluten intolerant and you just eat gluten every day, that would really make you sick. Um, so I don't think I have to tell you that if somebody's allergic to the, to the material in their root canal, that that can make them sick. And we also know that sometimes the body's response to things that you're allergic to can be very different. Um, someone may eat a peanut and they get highs and they, uh, that's a medical emergency where you need to call 911 or that person may die right on the spot. Other times uh, you may eat something and it's a, it's a much milder reaction where you just get a small eczema on your elbows or on your uh, arms or legs. Uh, you know, these are sometimes the things you see. So what, uh, people want to do is just be in tune with their bodies and look for signs and symptoms that maybe there's something wrong. And if you notice some weird rash, you should probably start 
asking yourself what might be causing that. It could be something you eat, and if you turned over a whole bunch of stones and you know you have a root canal in your mouth, it, it certainly is not outside the question that you could be allergic to the material that's inside the root canal. Well, we all know that bacteria and viruses and fungus can make you sick. What if you get a flu virus that makes its way into your body? Um, different people may get, some people might get sick and some people might not. Um, so depending on what type of bacteria and fungus are inside your root canal too, uh, if you have this bacteria and fungus and toxins leaking out the bottom of the, of the root of, of, of your tooth that's constantly entering into your blood supply, um, I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist to know that that's gonna, gonna make you sick, that could potentially make you sick, you know, whatever that bacteria or fungus can do to you, um, you know, it can do. Uh, and the root canal just happens to be the reservoir where that bacteria uh, are proliferating. Um, so, you know, you know, there you have it. And you may have started watching this video because you wanted me to tell you, yes, root canals can make you sick or no, root canals won't make you sick. And, you know, it's not really that simple. You know, it comes down to, uh, you know, what type of bacteria in this root canal and whether or not you're susceptible to it and the manner in which you're living your life. And yes, whether or not the dentist that did your root canal, how good of a job they did, because if they really cleaned it super thoroughly and they really sealed that thing up, um, it's gonna be a really slow leaker and um, that's a much, uh, it can have a much smaller impact than, uh, you know, a, a, a tooth that's, you know, 10 times more full of stuff that might make you sick. So, uh, you know, all these things are really issues. The other thing you might think about is how many root canals are in your mouth. You know, sometimes people come in and go back to that person that has 10 root canals and they're like, Dr. Adams, should I take these root canal teeth out? Well, if that person has like lupus and high blood pressure and diabetes and they've tried like everything else and they can't get it under control and I take a 3D scan and I see that you know, these root canals are infected and um, yeah, that might be a, a, a reason where it's bad as, you know, taking out 10 teeth really is. Um, if I were that person, I would take those teeth out. I would take those teeth out because they're infected. Um, and you never know what else that bacteria in those teeth might be doing to you. Uh, and to replace those teeth with, uh, Implants once the bone infection has gone away and this infection is out of your body, um, that would be worth it to me. But maybe this person can't afford to get dental implants. Well, they're partial dentures, you know. Um, these things can be miserable. Imagine the impact of not having 10 teeth in your mouth. Um, so look at whether or not these root canals are infected or not. Ask your dentist to say, am I missing any bone? You know, are they, did it hurt when you bite down? Look on Google for the signs and symptoms that a tooth, a root canal tooth is failing. Um, and if you can put together that you're gonna be better off removing these teeth for your health, then um, you have to be your own advocate. I can't tell you to do that. I can tell you if a root canal is infected and I can, give you good advice and, uh, you know, I can't prove whether that bacteria in that root canal has made you sick. Um, but I think if you logically think about all of these things that I've told you, I think that you could probably make a pretty good decision. Now, if you come into my office and you ask me, should you get a root canal? And you're just at the point where you have a deep cavity or a crack, um, me personally, I would never do a root canal. Uh, I'm really scared of dental procedures. I don't do well in the chair. I'm fearful of what the bacteria in the root canal might do to me later. And, you know, why would I want to sit through an expensive root canal and crown that might make me sick? And then 
once it finally falls apart or whatever happens to it. The truth of the matter is most root canal teeth last five or 10 years and then they'll break or cause an infection in your jaw and then you're gonna be removing this tooth and if it's a critical tooth, you're probably gonna to wanna to replace it and the best way to replace a single tooth is with a dental implant. Uh, I have a video on my YouTube channel called Root Canals versus Implants. Uh, so I, I would encourage you to watch that video, but if you get to the point where you can choose between a root canal and an implant, you know, again, I'm not here to tell you which one's better or worse, but uh, me personally, I would do the implant. So there you have it. You know, my name is Dr. Adams and I'm a dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist in Burtonsville, Maryland. And I know I haven't exactly given you black and white clarity on this issue, but I hope this better answers your question about whether or not root canals make you sick.